Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I cover a variety of different analytics, data science, and uh, uh, related topics, everything from open discussions to uh, commercial and open source uh, software platforms. So today I'm going to start a series on multivariate data visualization with R um, and Lattice. And uh, so there are going to be a number of these videos, uh, the source. Uh, for some of the information here is from Sak Sarkar's book on lattice uh, multivariate data visualization with R. So it's a it's a very good book, and uh, the session is going to be R60, and it's going to be an introduction. So let's go straight into R Studio. I've got just a few lines of code. This will be a fairly short one, and then we'll pick up with some sub subsequent ones. Um, later. So the, the first thing I've got is I've got this Kim 97 data and this is actually um, a level chemistry examination in Britain. You can find information out about it. Um, I'm going to be using the data set there um, and the package MLM ref. So um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that data and then some cross tabs uh, by score, so I can see down here in the lower panel, um, there are the, the different frequencies, and then I'm going to uh, uh, call this library the Lattice Library here. And uh, let's first get a histogram for the uh, score by the factors. And when I do this, I create a trellis diagram. And so trellis has been around for a, a very long time. It actually started in S, if you're familiar with the progression of R and language S. Um, this is where the, the trellis uh, first originated. And so here I have the different, I have six different panels here. Um, and they're labeled here at the bottom, zero, two, four, six, eight and 10, and that corresponds with the scores. And so I can look at the distribution of those various scores here in the plot. And we can see some variations here within the um, different histograms for the different scores. By the way, so if I, there are about 31,000. Um, if I looked at this lower left panel of the different scores and I were to combine all these, it's about 31,000 different scores and uh, so I can see the different scores and I can see the distributions themselves um, in these different histograms. So one of the things that I can do since I have sufficient data is I could create a uh, density plot. So I'm going to do that with this command here, the density plot command um, from this library and the factor is going to be the score. And again, um, I'm going to plot that out. And so now I have basically smoothed these things out. And you can see little things pop out. So here, the distribution for two, you know, you can see this edge on here where the distribution of six is more of a smoother uh, curve for these various plots. Um, and that's kind of nice. And so, the other thing that I might want to do is what if I want to stack these um, on top of each other, uh, basically a super uh, a superimposed upon each other. And I can do that as well. And I'm going to use this command right here to do that. So um, you can see here that I've got, uh, I'm, I'm using this auto key and list the columns here. Uh, so Everything else is pretty much pretty much the same, but if I evoke invoke this, then I get a uh, superimposed for for the different positions, and I can see readily now um, the different scores. So this is a much nicer view of the data in that um, these uh, distributions are superimposed on each other. So. This is kind of where we're going. You can see that the, the trellis is, um, there's actually a lot of different functions and we'll be covering those as we as we move along. 
Um, the other thing that I can do here is I'm going to just uh, put these the histograms in the density plot into uh, variables and the class for the second plot is trellis, right? So we're going to be working with, with trellis. And um, if I look at the summary, again, the, there's my summary. And if I want to create the trellis and superimpose that, I can plot these, this, these two variables, TP1 and TP2, or I should see, say objects, not, not variables. Um, and if I, run those, then I get uh, both superimposed. So I can see the individual histograms as well as the, the scores. All right, so with that, we'll close this one. Uh, we'll pick it up next time and I uh, hope you can join me there. Thanks.